Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. We are still covering CES 2013. That's right. We are stopped here at the Huawei booth. Uh, as you can see behind me, there is a plethora of devices, but one of the things that they just announced just for CES, matter of fact, just before CES, uh, was the Huawei Ascend Mate. It's the 6.1 inch screen. Uh, telephone that you see here. Uh, it's a quad core processor. It's uh, 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, you're looking at an HD IPS display. It's it's something that you have to see in person. It's running the Android 4.1 system, Jelly Bean, uh, and, and this is just absolutely crazy. Oh, and I'm already, and I've already ends up. But taking a look at it, I mean, just look at the size of this phone in comparison to my head when I go to make a phone call. I, I want you to see this because this is just, I mean, it's crazy how big this thing is. But at the same time, I mean, you can make hand notes on it, you can take pictures, you can take all sorts of, you know. And speaking of pictures, it's got an eight megapixel camera on the back of it. It does HDR with a one megapixel front facing camera. It pretty much does everything that you need. It even comes with Bluetooth 4.0 for those of you trying to stay on the bleeding edge of everything. It even comes with Wi-Fi direct support. But I mean, look at this. It, the phone is so big that the keypad doesn't even fill up the whole screen. It's just the small part of the screen. I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, you've got all your basic Android apps and everything's there. The screen is awesome. Obviously, you've got your notification center there, everything that's Android based for all those that know this. This is very similar to what Samsung makes with their devices as well. But it's a very huge, almost what some would say phablet size, you know, that cross between a phone and a tablet. But it's all sorts of craziness that you can see here. It's typical micro SD or uh, micro USB plug in there and it's got a 4050 milliamp battery so this thing ought to last a lot better than my Samsung Galaxy S3 but we'll see as this comes out in the future and hopefully uh, we might be able to import one so we'll see what happens we got more coverage coming up for CES 2013